If you're standing on the first floor of a house and you want to get to the second, the most efficient route is likely not floating through the ceiling. Your computer, however, might think it is. That is until you teach it about basic human kinetics and real-world physical boundaries. We can apply a similar type of logic when it comes to the much more high-stakes problem of planning cancer treatments. If you look at the red portion of my slide over here, we can see how a computer might look at a specific type of cancer treatment planning called intensity modulated radiation therapy. There are two basic elements. The first element is the beam of radiation that gets directed right at our patient's body. The computer will see this mostly as a rectangular two-dimensional grid. The second element is the patient that's actually receiving the radiation. So in an example like breast cancer, we'd look at a patient's chest cavity. So we'd be, we'd be considering the tumor and the heart and the lungs. A computer can encode this information once again as a grid, but this time our grid is gonna be 3D because, well, our patient is 3D. Now much like the house example, there are some serious complications that arise from thinking this way, which I'll cover in the green section over here. So I'll address three complications. The first is scale. Now, in order to um, optimize a treatment for a patient, we want to make sure that we get sufficient dose to the tumor without harming the nearby sensitive organs. Now, in order to do this, we need to track the relationships between hundreds of units of a beam and hundreds of thousands of units of a patient's body. This is a huge problem. The second issue we run into is making sure that our plans are actually deliverable. So if you look to the left here, you see what our device's modulating interior actually looks like. But to the right, you'll see plans that are impossible to deliver that a computer is liable to recommend. The third challenge that we come up against is uncertainty, which is an unfortunate reality that we deal with in cancer planning. In breast cancer, the patient is breathing throughout the treatment, um, which means that the heart and the tumor are actually changing locations. If we don't address this uncertainty, we're liable to overdose the heart or underdose the tumor. So my research comes in to consolidate all of these constraints and then optimize over them so that when we get deliverable plans, like you see in the blue section down here, we know they're not just good plans, but they're the best plans physically possible. Because that's what I'd want if I was the patient. Wouldn't you? Thank you.